Alrighty, folks, the truck is done. On the receipt, it's called the reductant fluid pump. Has been removed and replaced. Pricey, but it's done. Getting ready to head up by the interstate, grab some stuff at the truck stop, log in, and go. My mission now is to get to Louisville. I've got a load I've committed to, and now that my truck is up and running, I need to get to that. So, let's head on down the road. The girls and I stopped in Shawnee, Oklahoma. They needed a potty break. And I thought, I could have a little snack. But what I really wanted to talk to you about was these storm clouds. The video doesn't capture it nearly like it should, could. The picture I took is cool, check that out. But I'm going to turn the camera around see if we can get a really good view of this storm. And I'm going to roll the window down. Whoops. Let me roll the window down. Oh, I guess I need to turn my key on first. Ding, 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 ding. Window, please. And... I just think it's gorgeous. Look at Miss Chili Beans there. Chili Beans. May the 11th. Update from Louisville, Kentucky. I just treated myself to a Waffle House breakfast. I mean, mind you, it's one o'clock in the afternoon, but it's my breakfast. And that's the Waffle House, and just right down the road is the motel where I'm staying, where we are staying. But back to breakfast. I ordered steak and eggs, T-bone, and the girls are enjoying the tea part of the bone. And the other reason for the update is... As you probably know from a previous from the previous episode, I deadheaded all the way back from Santa Clarita, California, for this load. And let me tell you why. I'll try not to make it a really long story, but still, you never know with me. My mentor called me and said, I've got a load that needs covered, and I'm not going to be able to do it. I've got a, a long-time customer. This customer is the reason I even got an ELD in the first place. And they've got a load needs to be moved, and I'm already under dispatch, and I'm not going to be able to cover it. Will you? I said, yes, I will. And I knew this before I even took the load out to Santa Clarita. So, of course, I'm freaking out when the truck's not working right, and I've got coolant leak and, and an oil leak, and I'm like, oh, because I've committed to this load to the point where I'm turning other stuff down. I'm like, no, I'm already committed to this. So I did make it to Louisville, and the reason that I want to say what I'm getting ready to say is because I really, I really appreciate the trust that Mentor has in me to cover one of his customers, longtime customer. And I told him, I said, I will deadhead back from California to make sure I'm there on time to pick your load up. My mentor said he trusts me to do this load and I'm like yeah yeah I got it I got it I think he knows that I can be professional and that when I say I'm going to do something I do it and I do so I'm very honored 
that he trusted me with this load. Now that that update is over, I'm going to go shopping. I need, I need, I need clothes. I need some more clothes. I need clothes that fit better. I've been losing weight and I'm like, you know what? I need some clothes. So if I can find a place to park the truck in the shade, I will go shopping today because I've got the girls with me. I'm not going to leave them in the room alone. I promised them I would never leave them alone. And so if I can find a place to park in the shade where I want to go shopping, then I'll go shopping. If not, I'll wait until a more shadier day. So that's the update for now. Oh my goodness, they're just enjoying their T-bone. I found the perfect parking spot. Love it. Doesn't she look good sitting in the shade? I'm just saying. Sunday, May the 12th, Louisville, Kentucky. I don't know if I've mentioned this before or not, but I'm very honored to have been selected to cover this load for my mentor. Still saying that out. So let me tell you what I got going on. On the paperwork, it's not very descriptive, but the video is going to be much more descriptive. I am hooked to a bumper pull trailer. That's all it says. Picking up Louisville, Kentucky, and it is on its way to Portland, Maine. So according to Tucker Path, it's an 18 hour, nine minute drive. Now, when my mentor put in the bid for this load, he included tolls, the cost of the tolls. So it's not like I will get reimbursed for the tolls. The pay uh, adjusts for the tolls. But you know me, I'm not going to do toll roads. Not because I want the extra money. I just don't, I just, all these years I've been messing with not, doing tolls and avoiding tolls I'm just used to it and it does add some to the trip but my choice my dime right what's up stinks my girls right here is our breakfast lunch and dinner and they're kind of waiting for it but that'll be later right now let me walk you around the unit so you can see what I've got going on. So it's different. I love it. I love it. But again, this is this is the reason why I have my ELD is so that it in allows me to be included in this type of freight movement because without an ELD, there's no way a regular transport driver can haul it. So I guess I'm unregular. I know that's not really a word, but it is now. Come on, let me show you what I got going on. Oh, if you're wondering, I know this looks tacky with the bungees, but I kept losing my saddles. They keep, I, I, they keep coming off, and that's getting expensive to replace them. So I don't... I no longer really appreciate this setup the way I did when I first started because I keep losing my saddles. And even when I would tighten the bolt on the saddle, uh, I, I just lost another one and I'm like, fine. So I've got them bungeed. The saddles are in a toolbox and I'm like, I, I don't know what to do. I guess I just keep enduring. But anyway, back to what I got going on.
again, this is a round trip. I kind of stumped control when I called and I said, I'm doing an exit and I need my advance. She says, what's the last of your unit? And I, the last five of your unit number or, you know, the VIN number. And I gave it to her and she goes, I'm showing the same unit twice. I said, yes, this is a round trip. My mentor has it set up to where one trip is up to Maine and then the second trip is back. That way I can get a cash advance if I want on, on both ends and and because it's it counts as another load I get an extra 10 entries in the drawing for the new truck that Horizon is giving away at driver appreciation day oh did I not mention that to you yes there is a competition going on oh, I may have mentioned it I, now that I think about it I may have mentioned it but I'll refresh your memory uh, I, on driver appreciation day, Horizon is having a drawing, and then Horizon drivers are gonna get a chance at a truck, but for every load that you deliver between the first of the year and, and whenever the cutoff time is, each load gives you 10 entries into the drawing. So I got an extra 10 entries because of the round trip and the way that my mentor has it set up to where I'm getting paid one way up and then one way back. What else is there to say? Hmm, not much. I do need to call Mentor because there's a couple of things that are a little not like he had mentioned. Probably no big deal. He said there should be a registration for the plates in the toolbox. That way I can just run off of the plates that are there, but I can't find the registration. And um, that's about it. I know this is a long, long, long time customer of my Mentor. And because hauls for these folks a lot with this trailer mentor put new tires on the trailer now i do the couple of them are 10 pounds lower in pressure than the other but mentor takes good care of his customers and i'm going to do my best to take care of his customer too having had said all of that yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what, what? About breakfast time? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> You're so silly. Let me make a phone call, okay? Oh, and I forgot to mention. It has to be there on the 13th. I told my mentor I wanted to pick it up early. And my mentor says... You're more enthusiastic about this than me. I would have waited till Monday-ish. I'm like, yeah, I want to make sure I've got plenty of time behind me, and I want to. I don't want to have to stress and rush and and come down to the wire. I'd rather show up early. I am a hurry up and get there and sit and wait kind of driver. I don't mind. So that's what I'm gonna do. Alrighty, phone call to mentor is covered. And I'm getting ready to head on out. He asked me if I would stop at the pilot truck stop just out of town and double check the air pressure on the tires, which I need to air up a couple of the tires anyway. Uh, I've got two tires at 60, two at 70, and and then on the on the tires it says 80. And he's like, yeah, just fill them up to 80 hot when you get up there and it should be good he said he would have been comfortable with 70 but a couple of them were at 60 psi and i was not comfortable with that and he says yeah you should be okay because they are good brand new tires well they look brand new but he said yeah you should be okay to get all the way up to the pilot which if i had to guess is no more than 45 minutes if i had to guess it's been a while since i've actually been up that route having had said all of that we're gonna boogie up there by the time we get up there, it'll be time to eat our T-bone steak and eggs with wheat toast and honey and grits. LaGrange, Kentucky. Pilot truck stop. I point this out because back in the day when I was trucking, this little place right over there with the red roof, 
they used to sell shakes and probably other things, but they had a pretty wicked banana split shake. They're now a drive through liquor store. So I guess no banana split shake for me. Don't need one anyway. It's not even my cheat day. So I don't know if this is legal or not, but he did it. There's a four-wheeler broke down along the side of the road. And he took those high-vis vests and placed them on the shoulder behind his vehicle just like you would if you were setting out your emergency triangles and he was definitely visible now whether or not it's legal i really don't know but i saw him i was able to scooch over and i treated him like any other emergent or any other broke down vehicle with their with their lights flashing i just scooted over and zipped on around him and then got back in my lane so just thought i'd share that with you Maybe somebody can look up and in the law and write in the comments whether or not that's legal or, or not. I, I really don't know, but I was impressed. Big round of applause to Chloe, who insisted that I stop the truck. And it's a good thing. Here's why. And of course, I called my mentor because it's a mentor judgment call at this point. It's not my customer. Uh, didn't know how to proceed and I wouldn't dare to presume how to proceed with this unit. So, called my mentor. I mean, what are you going to do? I had straps. Strap it up best you can. Move on. So, it is strapped up the best I could. It's heavy. That thing's heavy. Mentor's like, it's probably not that heavy. BTW Mentor, it was a heavy piece. We got it, though. All right. Let's press on. What's the date today? Have we forgotten the date already? May the 13th. Harpersville, New York. Just thought I'd check in with you. There is a truck stop kind of convenience store. I've stopped at several times. And I only point this out because the girls insisted on the truck stopping. And so I thought, yeah, I'll take this exit. Turns out I've been on this exit before. Well, I just wanted to go on record that there is nothing more annoying than watching a soap opera in a different language. Let me set the scene for you. I go in, and of course they've got a sign, bathrooms are for customers only. And I, I try to always give a business a little bit of money if I've been able to use their facilities. And so, there's a TV on, and there is apparently a, a soap opera just to going away at it. Uh, I guess the language is from people in India. I, I, I don't know. Anywho, this, this soap opera is in full bloom. Just going away at it. And it's a apparently it's a dramatic scene. And well, that's not coming out very fast. 
Yeah, I ain't got time for this. Anyhow, it got to the point where this woman is being dramatic and she's just a screaming and hollering at this guy and I finally, and the, and the guy watching the TV's got the volume up really loud. And I finally, I looked at that show that was on there and I went, oh my goodness, so dramatic. I probably insulted his favorite soap opera, but I'm like, oh my goodness. And I'm like, if this is supposed to depict real life, do women really do that? Do they really stand like two feet away from their man and they scream and they're dramatic and they've got tears? I, I, I don't know. I, I'm not that way, but I, maybe some other women are. And so I'm like, oh my goodness. So that, that was a little bit dramatic. Anywho, uh, <clears throat> Just a pit stop. I wanted to get some hot tea, some snacks. The girls needed a break. Apparently I needed a break. So we're just gonna log in and head back on down the road. My mentor has been in touch with me and just checking in, see how things are going. And we haven't determined how we're going to deal with the thing falling off the back of the unit back there yet. But other than that, it's been a very nice drive. Kind of an overcast day. And it's been raining here and there-ish. So, uh, all in all, very nice trip. Every time I drive in the, in the state of New York, I remember why I like this state. It's, it's a beautiful state to drive in. I mean, lots of states are beautiful, but New York... It's got a special place in my heart. Okay. What? I could do that. Uh, yeah. Well, let me let me end this little part and because nobody wants to hear this on the video of plastic trying to open. Okay. So let me let me say. Okay. You get the idea. Yeah, I'm not sure where we're at. I think we're still in the state of New York, but a little truck stop here. We've stopped at a few times on our way through town. It's a nice place that the girls can potty. They don't have to be on leash. I don't feel they have to be on leash. And I thought I would check on the load. And it's a good thing I did because the piece that's loose has been shifting during transit and it's been working its way out and I took some of that heavy duty tape and I put it across this hole where a screw goes because it's starting to fray my straps when the straps move. I think after this trip, I'm going to throw these straps away and buy new ones because this is all like rusted and to the point where it's really hard for me to operate. And if you guys know me, I cannot handle when things aren't working right and I'm just going to get some new straps. But we got to deliver first, which means, you know, get to the state of Maine do the show, then get back to Louisville. Alright girls, I need to go inside, get some hot coffee. Do I want coffee? No, I already had coffee. Hot tea? I don't know, I need to get something hot and some more ice water. Shall we load up? Get your treat? That's the update for now. So in honor of the fact that I am at a Dunkin' Donuts and I own a Dunkin' Donuts cup, love these cups, I thought I would get me some Dunkin' Donuts. Ha hazelnut coffee, hibiscus hot tea. Oh, and 
I stopped in a little town called Hoosick, New York. This, I think that's how you pronounce that. H-O-O-S-I... You know, now I don't even know how to spell it. Anywho, that's where we stopped. Hoosick, New York. May, May the 13th, Portland, Maine. Don't know if you can see it. But we're at the customer. Or at least, I've made it to the address that's on the bill of lading. I've got my four ways on and I am parked in the left turn lane and I'm just trying to log out. I have found a truck stop which is nine minutes away and I will head to the truck stop and just chill. A police officer drove by real slow, saw me sitting here. I don't know if they'll come back or not. Uh, I can explain why I'm here. We're just about to be off duty. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. But not now. We're in the middle of the street. We can't. Yeah, no. We can't. Not in the middle of the street and on a hill. Listen here, Andy Demandy Andy. Listen here, Andy Demandy Andy. You're not as demandy as, well, Andy back there. But. Anywho, that's that's what we've got going on. And I'm here early, but I, I chose that on purpose. I, I could have left a day later, but I, I kind of... You know me, I'm going to hurry up and get there so I can sit and wait. So that's what I'm going to do. So for now, good night. I'm not sure when I'll give you another update, but you'll get an update.